was a 5-2 win on senior night for the men's soccer team. And Jeff Tryon, the freshman, apparently just has something to get to the seniors. He scores a hat trick, three goals coming into this game. He scored three goals here. It's supposed to be about the seniors. I don't know if you got that memo, but uh, you just had something special going on tonight. I mean, they've just been working hard for us all year. You know, big leaders on the team. I just wanted to step up. I figured now's the time, if anything, just to step up and play for everyone around me. Did you just feel like uh, they were kind of, it seemed like they found you the ball in the premium times and you just had good touches and good finishes right at the tail end. Is it just the chemistry at the highest point right now? Yeah, definitely. We're, we're feeling a lot better. We got a couple guys stepping in, playing in like the, whole, the attacking center mid spot and then we're all just playing well together. Everything's starting to click. So. I right, appreciate the time. Good thing is he's got three years until he has his own senior day. Uh, we'll bring on in the third-year head coach, Tom Poitras. And uh, prior to the game, you had said that a goal of yours was to have uh, five games consecutive with shutouts. That wasn't the case. UMass Lowell kind of brought their A game in the first half. You guys are tied at two going into halftime. What did you say to the team in the locker room? Well, I mean, I, I just expressed that I thought our energy and our intensity needed to be better. Um, I thought, you know, we gave them too much space, gave them too much time, and they punished us for it. You know, they got too good goals they won from distance that we didn't step up and close down and then the, the first one was a good volley that the guy just had too much space so our marking needed to be better we needed to be tighter and we needed a little more effort and energy so we kind of got that across I challenged the guys a little bit at halftime and uh, I thought we got some really good performances in the second half well in the eighth minute uh, David Bernard said winds up getting an unassisted goal he was one of the three seniors honored so you guys get that 3-2 lead and then you look like a genius uh, a couple minutes later in the 69th minute you make a substitution uh, with John Gill back in the game Omar Tall, they connect for a goal. Uh, so you got to pat yourself on the back for that one. Well, I, you know, coaches look really good when you have good players, you know. And John Gill had a great game actually for us tonight. He hit a lot of good services in the first half as well um, and, and really showed well for a senior. And then Omar, you know, his first touch getting back in the game from John's cross is a great header. He gets in and he, he shows some authority in the box and, and finishes chance. You know, we thought he was going to get one or two more as well. So, but we need those performances from those older guys as we, especially as we headed into the conference tournament. Tournament. This win uh, winds up tying a program record dating back to 2006 with five goals in a game against Maine, but uh, also prior to the game you had mentioned a 12-win season, just like in basketball starting on Saturday, uh, is like a 20-win season. So uh, just kind of summarize this entire season up as you guys get ready for postseason that you have 12 wins in one year and you guys are playing some of your best soccer. Well, you know, it is. That's the important part that we've gotten better as the season's gone and, and we keep improving. Um, 12 wins is nice. You know, this isn't for me. It's not going to be reflection time. But, you know, I'm happy for the guys. They worked hard. You know, the, two years ago when we came in, it was, a, you know, five wins in 2010. So, you know, to get to 12 wins is pretty impressive for the guys. The seniors and the juniors have really done a good job. And we've got some key freshmen, obviously, like Jeff stepping up. Um, you know, Udi Cohen is coming in. He's going to play a big role in the program. Uh, you know, we got a lot of guys to be excited about moving forward but you know we we want to get three more games if we can and uh you know we got a lot to play for still but saturday night's going to be huge you know binghamton came here and we got a zero zero tie i think we stood out here talking about all the chances you know so we know it's going to be tough but uh we're looking forward to the challenge well, the boys will still be at home. They get to sleep in their entire in their own beds. Uh, Seven o'clock on Saturday, postseason play will begin right here at Al Merzik Field at Alumni Stadium as the Binghamton Bearcats will come into town. But tonight, actually, belong to a freshman, Jeff Tryon, with a hat trick to give the Hartford Hawks a 5-2 victory here on Senior Night.